Okay, so uh, what I'm doing right now is, uh, I know it looks ugly as shit, but what I'm doing is um, CBD oil, okay? So the measurement for that is, well, first what you need is a small stove. Uh, that's a professional stove. Uh, it's not uh, those cheap ones that you buy there. It's Well, you, you can use a, a cheap one, but it goes better with those one because the temperature is steady and um, after that you need oil CBD oil that's a uh, Charlotte's web uh, I know it looks gross but whatever uh, you can either use oil or shatter um, this time I used oil uh, so it makes a brownish uh, red oil um, after that, um, <coughs> sorry for that. Um, you you're gonna put the um, what the fuck is that? You're gonna put the um, for so for every um, every um, one point two grams of CBD oil you're gonna put 30 30 uh, uh, milliliter of coconut oil and then so now I had the uh, 38 grams of oil so I, I got uh, 1140 um, milliliter of oil in that right now and uh, after that, uh, that's just uh, for, uh, that's just personal oil, you know, because I'm epileptic, so I add um, nanoparticles, uh, copper nanoparticles, it helps um, to, it helps as a transporter uh, inside the body to uh, bring up uh, the CBD1 and CBD2. Uh, it helps to uh, bring it to the CBD1 and CBD2 uh, inside you. So, um, yeah, um, you don't, if you do put that, you don't put a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you how, how much to put in. Um, also, the, the reason why you use uh, coconut oil is it's because it's one of the best transporters for um, the um for the cbd um also uh you can use uh, this if you want uh if you don't like coconut uh it, it tastes better uh, i hate coconut uh but whatever uh if you do have happen to have a mango oil go with that mango oil is uh, the best way to go uh, but unfortunately, I live in a small town, so I don't have it. And it costs an arm and a leg to get that also. So, so for temperature, uh, you have to bring that up to 101. I'm not sure. It, I'm not sure what temperature I am. I know it looks weird on the camera, but it's not. If you happen to pass over it, it's fine. Just keep it off. 106. So, put the temperature a little bit less. And I'm gonna take it off so that I get the heat off of it. I'm just gonna let it cool down a bit. So right now I'm just waiting for it to cool down. Um may take like five minutes. Okay, so it's cooled down. Uh so that's what nanoparticles look like. That's copper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this. That's uh one eight one one eighth of a spoon. 
Uh, so for every liter, use one eighth. And like, I don't know, for every uh, 50, every 50 milligram, uh, every 50 gram, uh, every 50 mi milliliter use one milligram. So as you can see, I, I, I don't know. I fill it about half of it, maybe three, three quarter. I don't put a lot because it really doesn't need a lot of it. And you, you just put it in. And make sure you mix it well. So what the, the nanoparticle does is uh, it brings the CBD to uh, let's say uh, usually with just normal coconut oil it's gonna wrap up your your molecules um, of CBD okay like uh, your uh, uh, like your body it's gonna wrap it up with CBD but um, what the <clears throat> what the the well the nanoparticle is gonna do is it's gonna go inside the molecule and it's gonna go and let's say you have a let's say a brain tumor it's gonna go inside the brain tumor and it's gonna go inside the let's say the cancer and it's gonna go and make its way in and it's gonna go and cause a rust and it's gonna when the tumor uh, the cancer wakes up it's gonna cause it to auto suicide and it's gonna kill itself so that way um, you don't get a cancer and it increases a lot the amount of CBD that gets into your body that I can attest I've um, I've done I, I I've tested it myself and um, I can assure you that it makes a big difference. I mean, if you can get your hands on the, it doesn't it doesn't have to be copper. I mean, it, it can be well. I don't I don't uh, sorry. I, I'm not telling you to pick up silver because silver is not like the best but uh, if you can get like uh, I don't know man activated charcoal like uh, at A50 A50 is pretty small you know because A50 is like um, uh, 50 um, 50 uh, 50 is the size of the nanoparticle so it's pretty small you know Also, um, forgot to tell you, you have to heat up uh, that thing at a hundred for a, a, an hour uh, for it to activate um, the the CBD inside and uh, the THC and uh, all the cannabinoids oils inside it. So the CBN and uh, well, there's pretty much not any. Th well, there is THC in it. Uh, there's like point. 0.1 THC. There's a 15 CB, 15 percent CBD, and there was 0.02 percent CBN in it. And um, 
there was a CBG in it also and shit like that. But, um, I mean, you do what you're gonna do. So. So I'm pretty much at, on the dot right now. So I think I'm gonna stay there. Also, make sure if you do put nano um, particles in it, make sure every time that uh, you um, um, take some, make sure you uh, shake uh, your, uh, let's say you put it in a small uh, bottle like that there, make sure you shake it well before uh, taking it. And then, you know, the amount that you take in depends on what you have, like I have epileptic, I, I'm epileptic, so, and I have a, a grand mal, so I take like a, a three, um, three uh, syringe of a one uh, milligram shy, uh, each, so it, it depends on what you have, uh, I mean, this shit doesn't get you high. I mean, well, it, it gets you high, but not high in the, in the, a way of, like, you don't get stoned. I mean, you get, like, hyped up. I mean, you you don't feel like sleeping when you get, when you, when you um, take that. So, I mean, it's pretty um, sweet stuff. Because it has a lot of uh, limonene in it, so that that's the the main terpene in it. So yeah. So yeah, all you gotta do is um, wait an hour. After that, let it cool down. Then uh, put it in a mason jar and um, just take that. And you can either put it in uh, small capsules if you don't like the taste, because. Uh, it does taste horrible. Um, you can either put, um, I don't know, uh, put it in uh, capsules or uh, take it in a syringe like I do because I don't want to take like uh, fucking eight capsules a day. So if you do take it in capsules, um, it's gonna take about uh, an hour and a half to uh, pick up. Uh, if you take it in syringe, I I'd say you leave leave it in your mouth for about um, uh, ninety seconds underneath your tongue, um, so that uh, the CBD goes in, and then after that you, s you swallow it, and um, so you get uh, you get effects much faster. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, that's pretty much how you make um, CBD oil.